my name is Jennifer Pierce and I work with the Inter-American Development Bank in the Citizen Security and Justice team. And for around 15 years we've been working with uh, public institutions on improving their capacity to prevent and reduce crime and violence. Primarily we work with police systems, court systems, um, correction systems including re-entry processes and community prevention efforts. So uh, we're here at this event to learn more about what uh, the experiences are from other parts of the region and parts of the world, as well as what the nexus is between um, armed violence and the international discussion on that topic and the work that we do through projects with countries. So uh, primarily we work with, um, with government partners when they want to implement a public security policy or program, and we try to provide technical assistance as well as funding. Um, and in recent years, there's been a lot more demand uh, for these kinds of programs as the problems of crime and violence have become more serious in the region and the capacity of governments to respond in traditional ways um, simply isn't sufficient. So one of our main um, emphasis, one of the areas that we emphasize most is trying to design programs that are uh, based on models that have worked in other parts of the world that have some kind of evidence behind them and we try to adapt those models to the local context of a particular country, city or community which requires quite a lot of um, consultation and analysis of the information at the local level and we try to also put in place a monitoring and evaluation system so that we can better understand how a given model might uh, produce slightly different results in different kinds of contexts. For example, it's not the same to uh, put together a, a program that works with at-risk youth to provide them alternatives to uh, joining gangs in an urban area in the Caribbean as it is to do that in a border town in Mexico, for example. So uh, basically, that's what we've been working on and we are interested in um, improving some of the data systems that go into those projects for um, understanding better what the victimization rates are, what the characteristics are of the groups that are most at risk, particularly youth, um, both uh, women and girls as well as boys and men, and um, some of the community level differences that sometimes don't show up in the national level data.